Bearcat, Brendo Bearcat Journal here in the bubble at the end of, uh, as we're, we're winding down on Pro Day. Majay Sanders, Majay, uh, how'd you think of things, uh, things went today? I think everything went good. You know, like I tell everybody else, the biggest thing that I needed to do today was to show that I was 250, uh, got back my weight. And I feel like once I did that, that made, that put a lot of pressure off a lot of people's back, especially off my back. And I wouldn't say I had a lot of pressure on my back, but I'd say that helped. What was the, the situation like going into the combine, like knowing you had waited for that opportunity right. and, and getting sick and not being able yeah. to shake it? It was, you know, it was a hard thing. You know, I had I have been like after the combine, I was to myself for a couple of days, but uh, not knowing that my weight was going to be that was the most was the most shocking thing. And I say, uh, like I tell everybody else, once I like once I hit when once adversity set in my life, I always go harder, find a way to go push myself harder. Luckily for you, you're a guy that can gain and lose weight fast. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Learn that at higher ground, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, how's this process been? Not not just the on-field stuff, yeah. but the off-field stuff, getting to talk to teams, getting to kind of yeah. understand what teams are looking for. And, I, feel, and that, I feel like that was the, that's the most, like, the fun part of the experiment, the fun part of the experience, I, say, I feel, is like talking to different teams and actually like Mike Tomlin, when I seen him on like seeing him on TV, and been actually like sitting sitting next to him in a dinner, like at Jeff Ruby's last yeah. night. That's crazy, you know. And uh, talking to like different coaches that you see on TV, and I just say that's the craziest experience that you get. And like going to the combine, they're seeing different players and just like different dudes and the Senior Bowl. I went to when I went to the Senior Bowl, I'm seeing other dudes that like me that I ain't seen in our conference in God knows how long. And uh, I just feel like that's the best experience that I had. Did you, did you know going into that, like, savor this, this is gonna be, yeah. you know, something you only get to experience once, or did it happen, like, naturally as it was? It, it happened, like, naturally. And, uh, but I'm always the type of person, like, you only get, you only get one shot at life, so just make the best of it. And uh, I feel like that I, I definitely try to make the best of it, even though when I went to the combine and I wasn't at my weight, I still try to make the best of what I had to do because at the end of the day, I'm still being evaluated. Through four years, what would you say? What would you say sums up your experience here at Cincinnati? Uh, I say I'm gonna just say the college football playoffs uh, because it, it took us it took so long to get there, and I felt like it took everything in our power as a as a team, as a defense, as an offense to to, do, to get there. So I say the college football playoffs defines everything. That I did at Cincinnati. What's it like looking around? You've been to Pro Day here yeah. before. What's it like looking around and thinking like we did? Th like this is what yeah. we did. This is what we accomplished. Uh, looking around because when I walked when I walked in earlier, I was like, oh yeah, it's a lot of people. And, uh, <laughs> it didn't used to be that way. Nah, nah, nah. And I feel like uh, that me, Dez, Beavers, uh, Joe, a lot of us, uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, Ahmad Gardner, we all put and tried like going as I was my sophomore year we all tried to make Cincinnati as a better place and it's a stepping stone school to see or get seen as in anything you can do. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what I feel like that helps. What what if teams told you they're looking for it? Have they, have uh, they given you an given you any indication? Yeah, it's a lot of teams that saying they they looking for a pass rush right now, and uh, it's a lot everybody. Of yeah, <laughs> and it's a lot of teams that asked me uh, about some about some linebacker. That's why I did a little bit of linebacker talks today, and uh, I feel like a lot, I see a lot of teams that want linebackers, and I feel like that'll be a change for me. You know, I don't mind going to that linebacker side of the world, but you know, if I have to, I will. Five years ago, you committed to Cincinnati. I know you have a ton of belief in yourself, but you were what? 200 pounds, maybe? 100, yeah, 205. 200, 205? Yeah, 205. You can't, you can't miss the five pounds. Did you ever imagine this, or is this what you imagine? Uh, I imagined this, but I didn't imagine this. Uh, I always knew I was going to be a good football player because of how I work day, day in and day out. But I never knew this was going to be how I was, and uh, I never knew I was going to turn out to be the player I was going to be. So. What's it like going through this with your brothers, with Sauce and Kobe uh, and Daz and all those guys? It's amazing because like going to the scene bowl, you would think that you're going to the scene bowl by yourself, but then you have all these, all your friends in, in the locker room that you still spend time with. All right, thanks man, appreciate it. All right.